Catkin. Certain that he is one of us, one of our kin, albeit more exotic, he twines and rubs around our legs, sinuous, erotic, eyes tight and tail erect, one of the elect. Catnap When cats relax in slender sleep, lying like crushed velvet on the best chair, they are still soft aware of sight and sound and what goes on around. They see and hear no evil, but their lashes flicker and lace the eye, ears prick and swivel in every sense and sinews tense. When cats relax and take their nap, there is no gap, it seems, between reality and dreams. Catechism The cold air seeps beneath the door, along the slabs, across the floor. Daylight weeps through dusty glass and embers grimace grey behind the clenched teeth of the kitchen range. Two cats sleep round and sound upon the hearth, hoarding their warmth. Tendrils of cooking creep and curl around their nose and pose succulent questions. They cannot stand this inquisition, interposed in their mind between food and sleep. So they unwind, they stretch and yawn and face the dawn. Caterpillars Skeins of kittens by the fire, plumping pillows for each other, sisters, brothers, lying there, purring at their leisure. Embers softly glow and dance, fickle flames leap up to, to kiss interlacing hedonists, each in happy trance. Carefully they veil their eyes, treading with their tiny mittens, kneading each complacent kitten, lost in mother memory, of milk and happiness and warmth, before the kindly hearth. Catterwall Sculpted and still as crystal, they pose with nose to nose upon the garden wall and wail. Scatty Cat I have, alas, come to believe that cats are schizophrenic and take leave of all their sense from time to time, bereft of reason and of rhyme. My cat, for instance, calm and reasonable, can be transmogrified and treasonable. One moment in his adamantine phase, staring sphinx-like in stony stasis, next gripped by sheer ecstasy, by orgasm that works its way and wreaks its shuddering will from whiskers down to trembling tail. Eyes bulge, ears hug the skull, the whole cat quivers in unbearable tension like a sadistic spring, a tension focused on a prey invisible. Then, in a blur of fur, he savages the room and flies around in spiky feline ricochets from wall to wall, ending upon the innocent curtains, hanging until the red mist 
fades away, and he resumes his sanity. Catnip Deep in the lazy afternoon, stroked by the sun, the cat lies long, ears shut against the clangour of the street, eyes tight against the light, in a slow dream of languor. A boy comes by, full of a wicked joy, and twists the tempting tail. The dream evaporates in a swift feline hate that scores a ruby trail across his flesh. A mere scratch, a catnip, soon forgot, a language stretch, and she resumes her nap. Category She stoops and sits with a cold interest and lack of pity over her punctured prey whose life spills away in a red stain. She relishes the game, eager to play again. Catacomb The key to every cat's inscrutable psyche is what one can only say is a compulsion, an obsession, for elegance. Hence, wherever he may roam, he stops to groom and comb with a pink probing tongue, preening and furrowing the fur along one slim foot poised in air. Eyes closed in ecstasy, he sways in a lissom miracle of rhythm and feline autism. Felis sana incorpore sano. Catgut. Flashing sparks of hate and claws of onyx to wound and lacerate. A blazing ball of fear and fluff trapped by the front door by a great Labrador who thinks Enough's enough, and does not persist. Unkind Cut Tiger, tiger, pussycat, meditating on the mat. Nowadays you can no other, sitting like a burnished Buddha. Tiger, tiger. Pussy cat, I often wonder what you're at. Perhaps you dream of former glories, defending all your territories, of victory and feral feats against the other alley cats. The smiles that spread so enigmatic are naughty thoughts of past gymnastics. But now, alas, these dreams of action our mere immaculate conception. Oh, it was the most unkindest cut when we took you to see the vet. Cathode The common or garden cat is not at all common, in fact. He lives in an exotic state, difficult to penetrate. In his prime, he is at the same time beauty in motion, poetry in notion. When so required, the feline can be sybaritic, egotistic, sycophantic, neurotic, sometimes manic depressive, and all stations in between. So he may live a multitude of modes, and I compose to him this ode.
cat eyes. The Cathay nation as a whole is clever and inscrutable. But not a lot of people know that this applies also to their cats. In China, cats are suitable to train, to sit uncomfortably in line, squatting in little holes at night, and act as feline traffic lights. Their apprehensive heads protrude above the surface of the road, facing the traffic with a squint. They do not even dare to blink, exposed to juggernaut and car, and all they do is stare and stare. Straight down the middle of the way, especially to old Cathay, where all too often it is foggy, the Chinese cousin of our Moggy marks out the route with jewelled eye. Of course, they cannot possibly avoid from time to time. Even the brainia, staccato bumps upon their crania. But they all know there's much at stake, worth the occasional headache. So this is why we ought to praise the cats of Cathay and their emerald eyes. Cat Mint I overheard my cat one day, conversing with the cat next door. To my surprise I heard him say, Rodents had fallen through the floor. Mice in particular were down a hole, and now was not the time to sell. I was aghast at all this tale. I had seen my cat as a seigneur, with all pertaining privileges, not as a crass entrepreneur, wheeling and dealing in small species. A cat of more perceptive nous than make a killing in mere mouse. Later on I changed opinion to one of feline admiration. Cleaning beneath our old refrigerator, I saw a line with little feet in air of mice and rats and puny creatures. So far from being out of pocket, he'd coolly cornered all the market, and now he is no longer skint. He is the master of the mint. Catalonia A work of art, the cat, a thing of beauty, but solitary. Sometimes you may swear that love is there, but I suspect the worst. At best his universe is selfish, hedonistic, opportunistic. The cat is balance, elegance, and dance. His lonely art is pure catharsis, never failing to entrance. The very best of all this feline art is found in Spain, where crowds of tourists go to see the cats curvet and twirl in an elaborate flamenco, or a flaming fandango. Each is in his private world, alone, in Catalonia. Catastrophe O oh, lovely cat, slant-eyed and adamantine, sheathed in a velvet coat, I'd leaf have thee for pet for ever, and yet, no, thou wilt never be mine. Catalogue The genius of cats is that they're individual, and hate to be confused with one another, although the other is their brother. There are fluffy cats and huffy cats, frady cats and lady cats, naughty cats, haughty cats, fat cats with gravitas, slender cats and delicate. There are macho cats and muscular, alley cats, crepuscular, 
Cats who really can't be cuter, but unfortunately neuter. Cats of many different sizes. Some are scatty, some win prizes. Some are social, some are loners. All of them the pride of owners. Cats of an exotic hue, chartreux and the Russian blue. Cats of interesting shades, tortoiseshell and marmalade. Oriental cats with poise, chocolate, seal and lilac points. Cats who love to put on airs. Precious cats with silky hairs, and aristocats much at ease, like Siamese and Javanese, Balinese and Tonkinese. Cats you only see at shows, Abyssinian, Cornish Rex, Somalis, Egyptian Maus, hairless Sphinx, and tailless Manx. The genius of cats, I should recall, is that they're all absolutely individual. It's not so much that they're on their own, it is the owners that they own. Catatonic Sleek, Sibiritic, Sibyline, Feline, Epicanthic, Enigmatic, Eyes slanting towards a mind, So nihilistic,